Okay, when you start up Prophecy, you'll see this screen, which will come up, ask you which one of your existing programs you want to start. Okay, you can uh, hit Empty Project, Machine Edition, to create a new project, or you can hit Cancel, and it'll come up to your navigator here. Okay. The navigator, you've got your existing programs. The shared projects is if you're working in a shared lab. In the class, you can use the shared projects to uh, point to your home drive and be able to access this from any computer. Start a new project. Come up here and select New Project. Okay. Here we go. We select New Project file new project and you're going to get this window here okay you have three things we need to fill out you've got your project name okay and we'll call this uh, project one okay the project template and this is the type of PLC you're using okay in the class in the lab class in the lab we're using the uh, Versamax nano micro Okay. If you open that up, you'll see all the other types of PLCs that this software supports. Okay. Select this. If you haven't done already, make sure you select that as default. We're going to save it, project location in my computer. If you're in the classroom, you'll want to save that on shared projects. And you go ahead and select OK and on this. And it'll go off and start building everything for you. Okay. You see over here in the navigator, you have everything set up. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have the proper CPU selected. Okay. In this case, it has the IC200 UDR005, which is what we have in the in the classroom here. If you select that, okay. You go over here, replace module. All right, pop up a window, and it's going to show you all the different PLCs you can choose from. Okay, student PLC that everybody has is the 14 point IC200 UDR001. So, this is what you would select for home. We're going to go back and select this one right now and select OK. Okay, it's going to ask you, you really want to do this? Yes. Settings are going to be changed? Yes. Okay. Now it's going to pop up parameter, all the properties for this CPU. If you notice over here that passwords are enabled right here double click on that little window pops up and let's select disabled okay then we can go back and we can close this window All right now you have your program set up and you're ready to go and you're ready to start entering in variables and do your programming